a generic question to start with, but I want to ask, how did you guys hear about the project? I mean, did you know about um, the two characters before, before you heard about this one? Yeah, you know, I knew JB personally before I, well before I got in the film business in the, in the 90s. And uh, I didn't know him that well, but I was friends with a good friend of his. But uh, then ran into him again in 2007 at a function in Phoenix. and. Uh, and just asked him what he was doing. He was saying uh, he was heading to India to do a reality show to find a picture. And, and I was like, what? And uh, about a year and a half later, uh, heard back from him and uh, came back in and said he got these kids signed and, and we met and, and I thought it could make a great movie. And especially seeing how the, the impact that these boys had on him, um, personally, emotionally, and, and, and that's where you kind of figure out if there's a movie or not, not just, just the baseball accom accomplishment, but really the, the effect and, and the emotional journey that he went on. Absolutely. And one of the great things about this film is that, or about the story rather, is that it sort of paved the way for others to have that shot, had that opportunity at success too. Uh, so I was wondering for you, was anyone who paved the way for you in acting? And for you, was there anybody who you looked up to as a producer as well? Uh, for me, I am wherever I am in my life because of one man, and that's my father. And he's my father, my godfather, and everything. Because he quit his job when I was five years old, a very cushy, comfortable job, and moved to Mumbai just so that I could have a career in, in, in the business, in the arts. So I owe everything to him. Uh, everything. And. Uh, Oh, for me, yeah. I mean, I, I played a little baseball uh, in college and professionally. Steve, modest team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not much of a career, but I did get up to the big leagues. Uh, so I, I knew the journey that these guys went on. But uh, yeah, I just I, I found my way into the film business kind of almost by accident. You know, I, I lived in LA uh, and when I was playing a little bit, and a lot of my friends were in the film business, and and uh, my partner and I just said, you know, why not? Let's let's try it. We see these guys doing it. Let's let's try it. So, I think just you know not having fear of trying different things. That's that's the biggest thing, and that's what you know. You go back to what what kids will learn from this film where they might not have had even dreams before, now they can dream and, and see that somebody made it. And uh, I think if you don't have fear of things, then, then I think that's the, the biggest blessing you can have in life. Hmm. I mean, it's one of those stories where you're surprised that you haven't heard of it before, because it's just it's yeah. so amazing. So um, with that in mind, uh, what's something that you've done in your career that you're proud of, but not too many people know about that, that you'd like more people to know about? Well, I started my career as a Michael Jackson impersonator. I don't think a lot of people know that. And I've done, I've done more than a, a thousand stage shows all over the world before I was 14. So that's something I'm really proud of. And that's, uh, uh, I'm kind of sad that I don't do it anymore, but I'm, I'm probably going to get back to it. There you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, just for me, having realized a, dream, a boyhood dream of pitching in major leagues, and then, you know, um, Several years later, m having my first film, The Rookie, uh, we screened for the president at the White House. So that was great to, to you know, kind of have. And it was a baseball film as well. So uh, that was great, you know. We'll, we'll get the word out, people. When you guys start getting asked about, you know, Michael Jackson, you know, the, the rookie, you'll know that people watch this interview <laughs> and it took off. And yeah. Because you um, thank you. <laughs> you're playing a character who's also based on a real person in this yeah. one. How much of a challenge is that? It's, I'd never done that before, so that, that was really exciting, that's what really excited me, and it brings its own set of challenges uh, with it. Uh, the biggest challenge for me was I was afraid of not doing justice to the kind of guy that Dinesh was, and that was after I met him. Uh, we were training in Delhi, me and Suraj, for baseball, learning baseball, we didn't know any of it before the film, so we were training there, and Dinesh was kind enough to be there, and he, would, he was almost like a third trainer other than Mike and Amy, who had flown out from America. And so the Nate would come and you know help us do drills that they would do and tell us stories, which help us understand as actors the psyche of um, you know what these guys were actually going through at that point. And uh, after I met him, I fell in love with the guy, and I was just uh, because he's the whitest character I've uh, had the chance to play. Yet there is no gray to the guy, so I was skeptical. You know, I, I was a bit apprehensive. I didn't want to mess it up because he's just the best guy ever. Hopefully I've done justice. So, I, mean, I know you said that you, you learned how to pitch, and I know you also bulked up a little bit for the world as well. Yes, I did. So you I really changed. Back to yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing the muscles. This, this is like 12, this is back to this, this is 12 press ups a day, by the way. And we're, get, we're getting there. Dude. Not, not quite your but we're getting up. there. <laughs> um, so you've obviously you changed quite physically for the role. What's yes. the most you've changed on the inside for the role? 
I think uh, <laughs> there was a part of me which was getting too attracted to the bad boy characters that I was playing. And like, <laughs> yeah, I played bad guy in Slumdog, and I played a kidnapper in, in uh, Kidnap and Ransom. So I was getting like that swag of like bad boy. So mm. I'm, 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 I'm more of a good boy now, hopefully. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it back a little bit. <laughs> and have you, I mean, do you know Dinesh's reaction to your performance? Did you watch the film with him? I did, I did. And yeah. I, I remember, yeah. I've that seen the experience? film just once like, and that was during the premiere yeah. in LA. And he was sitting like, I remember he was sitting behind me on the right there. And throughout the film, I would, every few, <laughs> yeah, just keep <laughs> glancing and, so his nod of approval was most important for me. Yeah. And he was kind enough the to The first time he saw the film, he was weeping after yeah. he saw it. He's Aww. such a sweet kid and so He's emotional. And it was, that's a fun part of you know, having a movie is watch, having the people that it's about see the film. Yeah. And they just, you know, how did you get that right and that right? <laughs> so, cool. Well, I mean, you're playing, uh, as I said, um, characters based on real people. Mm -hmm. So if there was going to be a film about Magda Mattel or Mark down the line, uh, what do you think are some of the, your characteristics that the actor playing you would need to nail, nail down or we'll find it difficult to perhaps nail down? Mine, you've got to, I mean, it's going to be really hard for somebody who plays me to get to my level of hotness and be as sexy as me. I agree. That's going <laughs> to, I might do workshops for that, but. <laughs> Uh, hope, I mean, you know, I, I'm kind of doing that, hopefully now with Bill Paxton and me trying to make a film inspired by, at the start, by my life as to uh, how I was a Michael Jackson impersonator and almost do a, like a backdoor biopic on Michael through that. So I'm working on that. Okay. Hopefully that comes through. That'd be yeah. cool for you, Mark. Also oh good looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just what he said. <laughs> find somebody with arthritis, arthritis in their shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> What happens when you pitch? There are um, a few characters in this film who find themselves out of their comfort zone. Uh, so I was wondering, in your careers, what's the situation that you've been out of your comfort zone and how quickly did you adapt? For me, it started uh, when I got my first international film, Slumdog. I, had, I was a kid uh, working in it. But I've kind of been, my life has been such that I have always had to get out of my comfort zone a lot because uh, we came to Mumbai, we had to struggle a lot, me and my dad would go. So it was, you know, I was just a kid and kind of an introvert. I would only be con confident on stage or in front of the camera or behind it, I wasn't confident at all. So, you know, I was always out of my comfort zone, but the biggest was when I got Slumdog and I wasn't very sure how I would be, ex you know, accepted or treated by the international people that never had uh, any, any interaction or work with them. So. I was really apprehensive, but people have been so kind to me, and I'm just the luckiest guy on earth because I've always had, always had the pleasure of working with such amazing people who are so accepting. They take it, great care of me, give me a lot of love and support, and have the best things to say about me. So it's just, I'm lucky. Yeah. You know, for me, it was probably getting into the film business. I had no knowledge of it, you know, and at 34 years old, just decided to, to try it. And, you know, my partner and I basically taught ourselves probably too old to be hired by anybody and you know you just we just said okay we're producing movies and we worked out of a garage for two and a half years and struggled and 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 but learned the business and trial by error and you're completely out of your com uh, comfort zone and again I had played sports and I'd never answered a phone and I remember answering the phone for <laughs> the first time like a secretary and I was nervous and and then you see you know just getting a hang of it and then having a, a sense for story and good good projects and yeah it's fun and rewarding to see a movie get on the screen you know mm -hmm. especially ones that you know really kind of touch those personal and you know human interests and final question I just mm -hmm. wanted to ask aside from this film obviously do you have any favorite sports film that, that you watch repeatedly I actually really love the film uh, that that you made the baseball film the rookie, uh, the uh, not the rookie, the other one. Miracle, the mm -hmm. hockey one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, no, no, no. Is it called the rookie? The one where the the coach was asked to try out. Oh yeah, the rookie. Yeah. The rookie. Sorry. Yeah. So ben I really love that one. Yeah. Uh, for me, probably Rocky. Yeah. That's a good First one. Rocky. Yeah. Cool. That's my favorite. Well, great job on this song, guys. I really Thank enjoyed you. it. And thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Let's get started.